Picture this, it's the early 1900s and ships have to sail all the way around South America to get from the Atlantic to the Pacific. The idea of the Panama Canal dates back to 1513, when the Spanish conquistador Vasco Núñez de Balboa first crossed the Isthmus of Panama. This narrow land bridge between North and South America was a fine location to dig a water passage between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The earliest European colonists recognized this, and several proposals for the construction of a canal were made. The canal, a 48-mile engineering marvel that slices through the Isthmus of Panama, connecting two oceans. The French first took a stab at it in the 1880s, but they struggled with disease and the rugged terrain. Then, in 1904, the U.S. stepped in and after a decade of sheer determination, opened the canal in 1914. The U.S. continued to control the canal and surrounding Panama Canal Zone until the Torrijos carter Treaties provided for its handover to Panama in 1977. It slashed travel time for ships, boosted global trade, and even played strategic roles in both world wars. Today, it's still a crucial artery in global shipping, handling over 14,000 vessels annually. The canal was expanded in 2016 to allow even larger ships to pass through, keeping it relevant in the modern era. So next time you see a ship cruising through the Panama Canal, remember, this waterway didn't just make a splash, it changed the course of history. Don't forget to like and follow for more bite-sized history lessons.